Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the UCF Knights Dynasty. We are 19 and 3 on the season, 8 and 0, halfway through conference play in the regular season. We will get through the rest today. But today's marquee matchup will be versus the Gardner Webb running Bulldogs, and they are led by Larry O'Neill our former starting forward coming into this season he is averaging 15 points a game eight rebounds as well which leads their team gardner webb has turned into a bit of a rival here as we faced them in the conference championship last year in a very good game and now we get our first rematch against them since that game Vic Kennard was the guy who lit us up in the postseason last year. We'll see if he can do it again. He's only averaging six points per game, but averaging three rebounds and five assists. A kind of do-it-all guy for them. And we will see what happens here on the road as we are still undefeated in conference play. And if we win today, we have a good chance of just going on a run and completing this regular season undefeated. But Gardner-Webb has something to say about that. We'll see if they can end the winning streak at eight. Let's get this game underway as Bongani Mwangi does lose a tip off. We will watch possession, first possession, as always, as we have the same starting lineup going out here on the court as we've had at the start of the season. Nothing has changed. Jordan White at point, Jay Henry at the three, Antonio Johnson at the two, and Mwangi and uh, Reese Mahanic down low. Here's a drive to the basket pass inside. Hesitation on the layup, and it is going to be off. Defensive board by Jay Henry. He pushes it up the court all the way to the basket. He passes it back out, actually, to Mahanic, and we swing it around to the corner. This is Johnson with the three. This one is off. No points on the first two possessions for either team, as here are the Bulldogs swinging it around. This is the first shot by Larry O'Neal today. That one is off as here we go the other way. Mwangi on the rebound. Up the court is Jordan White with the left-handed dunk. And we do start this off with two points on a transition dunk. Missed shot opportunity that time by Johnson in the corner as here comes uh, Gardner-Webb the other way. Pass inside. That one is going to be off. Larry O'Neal misses his first two shots. Here we go on offense now to the corner. Jordan White with the three. He's off, but Mwangi, he puts it in on the offensive rebound. And now it is a 4-0 start. Working inside, O'Neal again. Another up and under move oh, of three to start this game for O'Neal. Looks like he really wants to get after his former team here. As here we are on offense, working it to the corner. Mwangi misses the corner three. He can shoot threes, remember that, as we do eventually get the offensive rebound and here we go again Mwangi in the post he's going to try to put it up and that one is off from about five feet and now here we are still with this four nothing lead both teams struggling to score here. here's a jump shot just from out the paint and Gardner Webb finally gets on the board four to two game low scoring in the first four minutes there is a pass inside to Mahanic and a foul on O'Neal. That is the marquee matchup in this game, though. O'Neal on Mahanic. Mahanic was going to replace O'Neal at the four or three going into this season. So it's going to be interesting to see if Larry O'Neal is aggressive in this one. He already has quite a few shot attempts already in the first five minutes. Some of our starters get a breather here. Here's a fadeaway just outside the paint. That is good. Gardner-Webb's leading scorer is their point guard. We will see if he can get off today. Here's a steal on Antonio Johnson, losing the basketball. Here they go. Spin move, a couple of them, and to the basket, and they will call offensive foul on that uh, take to the lane. So Milo Yarbrough checks into the game. There is an errant pass right to the Gardner-Webb defender. Here they go the other way, trying to send a double team. This is a weird fadeaway shot right there. Good defense as here comes UCF the other way. Incredible in the game, and that is good. Just incredible. We'll hit that one. Eight to four lead here in the first half. As now we're about six minutes into this game. There is a pass inside. That is a foul. Guadalupe Brando comes off of the bench, averaging 10 points, six rebounds as a big man. He hits both of his free throws. It's now a two-point game. 
Very low scoring. Something different than we've seen so far from this UCF team this year. Here is uh, Bands in the corner. He drives the lane and does get fouled uh, by Milo Bridges as we go to the free throw line with Devon Bands. I love Bands. He is such a dynamic forward, averaging six points off the bench this year. He gives us some very good minutes. He hits both free throws. So here's a pass to the corner. Kennard inside to Bridges. A turnaround jump shot. That's good over Mwangi. And Gardner-Webb staying in this one with just twos. And it feels like we should be hitting way more shot. Here's a mid-range, and that is good. Antonio Johnson knocks that one down. It feels like we should be scoring a whole lot more, but playing good defense now. Hand in his face that time. Uh, by Mwangi. Bridges misses that one. Here's a drive to the basket, and we kick it out to Johnson for the three. I don't think we realized that we had an open layup that time by Credible. Instead, he passes it out. Missed three, but Johnson gets another opportunity. Driving in transition. It's an and one. Jay Sean Swish gets called for the foul. Antonio Johnson goes to the free throw line and knocks down his and one free throw to give us a seven point lead. Larry O'Neill checks back into the game. That is his first bucket of the evening, 15 to 10 now. Gardner Webb is in double digits. Here is Credible in the corner pass inside to the freshman Reese Mahanic. And now back up to a seven point lead. Let's see if we can pull away here, passing inside, swinging it around the perimeter. A little triangle action here. Here's Mahanic, though. He gets it ripped away by O'Neal. O'Neal never played good defense for us, so that is very, very impressive. Here is Milo passing outside. Mahanic misses again. A lot of missed shots here. Here's a pass inside and another turnover. UCF just cannot hold on to the basketball. As here we go on defense now, a 17 to 12 game. Missed shot by Gardner Webb. Milo gets to the basket, throws up a baby floater. And he can't get that one to go. Just a weird half for the UCF Knights as Gardner Webb answers right back. And now they are back into this game, down by just three. Pick and roll action. Yarbrough passes inside to Kolchak, and he misses point blank. We were giving our starters a little bit of a break, but it looks like we might have to bring them in as Gardner-Webb gets another bucket. Now it's a one-point game. We will remain with the reserves for a little bit. We still have Mahanic in the game. Here's a jump shot, and that one's blocked by O'Neal. Sending it back, our former forward, and now here they go the other way with a chance to take the lead. Pass to the block, and that one will be good. Brando. And they take the lead. He's got six off the bench, 18 to 17. They're on an 8-0 run here towards the end of the first half. So here are the starters back into the game. Devon Bands also in the game. He misses a three, but there is Mwangi. That's what he does best right there. Crashing the boards, he gets the second chance opportunity and takes advantage. As here comes Gardner Webb the other way. 19-18, here's a fadeaway jumper. That is good by Vic Kennard, knocking it down. 19-20 game, Jordan White, a little pick and roll action, and he loses the basketball, and here comes Gardner-Webb the other way with a one-point lead now. Playing on-ball defense is Antonio Johnson on Kennard, passing to the wing. This is a drive to the basket and a foul on Antonio Johnson. And Gardner-Webb goes to the free throw line looking to extend this lead a little bit. First one is good, and the second one is also good. And now it's 22 to 19, as here we are down by three. Good pass inside, and that's Jordan White on the assist to Amali Straylock, the freshman off the bench. And now here we go on defense. Offensive foul called on the illegal screen, so we get possession right back, down by one. Beating the press is Jordan White all the way. Left-handed dunk. A lot of teams forget that he's left-handed, and that is his strong suit in transition. But here is Gardner-Webb answering right back. And now it's back and forth here at the end of the first half. Scoring has been missing so far, but good defense, but not on that play. We allow Gardner-Webb to go straight to the basket, cutting through the D. And now here we are with 10 seconds to go. Mwangi gets it at the top. Back out to Johnson with two seconds to go in the half. It's knocked down. 
We tie this ball game up at 26. Gardner Webb really showing off the defense in this game. A lot of turnovers by UCF. And honestly, this is some physical basketball here. No fouls called either, though. But it's 26 up going into halftime. So we have out-rebounded them by double. But we do have seven turnovers as well. They are doubling their bench scoring over ours 14 to 7. And we will see if we can honestly get some buckets to fall. We've taken a lot of shots. We're actually shooting 40%, but none of them are falling, it seems like, when we're making these efficient jump shots here. But there is Milo Bridges starting it out with a jump shot. And now it's 28-26 on the two-point two-pointer right there. Here's Mahanic inside, back to the basket, tries to throw up a little hook shot. Maybe a little contact, nothing's called, as here comes Milo down again. Offensive board, though, by Vic Kennard. That's actually not Vic Kennard, but it's an offensive board by uh, Gardner-Webb. And now here we go, 30-26, to 26, down by four. Here's a pass, and Jordan White, for some reason, lost where he was on the court. Wild pass that time, and another turnover added to the total. That's eight in the game. Here is Gardner-Webb now. He's turning the ball over. Here we go. In the corner. Antonio fakes the three. Back out to Jay Henry. And he gets us going from three-point land. We needed something to get us going. 29-30. to Mwangi wide open in the corner. He did not take that at first. We want a better shot inside. And that is Mahanic, who cannot get it to go two feet from the basket. 30 to 29, Larry O'Neal with a wild fadeaway three. That one actually rims around, and now here we go the other way. Off of the rebound to the corner, Jordan White open three. This one's off, but Mwangi is there on the boards. He goes up with it and draws the foul over their big man, Milo Bridges, as we go to the free throw line with Mwangi. He actually misses the first and hits the second. It's just been back and forth all game. I think we're playing down to our competition here, though. Now it's a tie ball game, 30-30. Here's a pass inside. Nobody is home. And here comes Johnson. He picks up the loose ball. He goes all the way with the left hand. It's good. We take the lead right back here. Antonio Johnson running the break by himself. And now we have the two-point lead. Here is just incredible passing inside. Mwangi draws the foul, and he cannot get it to go on the end one. Brando gets called for the foul on that one. Mwangi goes to the free throw line, giving us a spark this year with scoring, averaging around 20 points a game, actually, and he knocks down both free throws, 34 to 30. Brando off the bench. He hits the shot from the block that time, 34-32. Answering the other way is Straylock, trying to get open back outside to the three-point line is Antonio Johnson, 37-32. As our star scorer right there gives us a five-point lead, but Gardner Webb the other way. Jordan White called for the foul. Keith Wilkins, who is their leading scorer, will go to the free throw line. He's been quiet in this one, averaging 18 points a game, and he will knock down the first, and the second one will also be good. It's now a three-point lead here for UCF. Gardner Webb has stuck around and even taken the lead at times. Milo Bridge, Milo Yarbrough actually gets to the basket and does pass it off to Nash Kolchek. But Milo Yarbrough's height definitely scares me when going to the lane. I don't want to take a bad shot and get his shot blocked. And Kolchek goes to the line and hits one of two. Larry O'Neal with the free throw line jump shot. Here we go the other way off of that miss. Yarbrough all the way to the basket, and that will be an offensive foul, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. If you're a smaller guy, you have to kind of throw up some weird shots, and that time he puts an elbow in there. And here comes Gardner-Webb the other way, and Larry O'Neal gets an and one reverse layup, and he goes to the free throw line. Larry O'Neal averaging 17, 8.6 rebounds per game. He knocks down the free throw. Back to a one-point game. Eight minutes to go here in the second half. O'Neal gets it inside. Fade away. Good. He has some craftiness to him. We saw it at UCF. We just could not get it consistently. But here we are on defense. Good deed that time by the UCF Knights. Crossover move. Credible gets ripped going to the basket. 
Luckily, we get possession right back after a missed shot from Gardner-Webb. Looking for the pick is Johnson. He gets it. Open three this time. That one a little too long. And Gardner-Webb will rebound here. They go the other way, up by one. Looks like they did take Larry O'Neal out of the game. Here is a pass to the outside. Jump shot. Milo Bridges knocks it down. And that's good. 41-38 lead. Here is Jordan White. A nice pick and roll pass. A little pocket pass that time. And now here we go. On defense. Saving the ball. But it will go back into the hands of the running Bulldogs. And now they have the three-point lead again. Jay Henry looking for the pick. Gets all the way to the basket. He throws up a wild shot. Gets that one blocked. We work it around the perimeter. And an open Mwangi at the top. He will hit it. It's just a two, so still a one-point lead here for the running Bulldogs. Pass inside, and that one gets over the outstretched arms of Jordan White. 45-42 to 42 now. White here just dribbles the ball up. He's open, so he just takes it, and he does not make the open three. And now here comes Gardner-Webb now with the three-point lead, driving to the basket, and a foul on Credible. One of the first fouls you'll see for uh, UCF on defense when they were driving the lane. But here we are with four minutes to go. They're playing this 3-2 zone. It's a tough zone to beat. Here we are passing it inside, and there is Mwangi. He gets it to go back to a three-point game. Can we get another bucket here with about three minutes to go? And that one will be deflected. Here comes Gardner-Webb the other way. Crossover move, getting stopped there, but a post up and will get back to his spot and throw up a wild shot. It's an and one. Oh my goodness, so many turnovers in this one. Count it 13, and they hit the and one. They're up by six with three and a half to go. Here is Yarbrough to the corner. Devon Bands, he will hit the three. Quick answer here for UCF. And now we are officially under three minutes. Bands in the corner again to tie it up. That one's off. Mwangi on the board. He can't get it to go. And now here comes Gardner-Webb the other way. Spin move. Yarbrough having a tough time staying in front of his defender. A spinning layup. It's good. An acrobatic layup at that. And now it is a five-point game. Here is a wild fadeaway shot from Antonio. Here's an offensive board, though, Mwangi. So many opportunities he's been giving us in this game for these second chance points. And now here is Yarbrough on defense. We had to get him out of the game. So we actually foul, but we did not realize that they were in the one and one. So they will go to the free throw line. This is Keith Wilkins. He knocks down the first and knocks down the second. So we were not aware of our team fouls right there. So here is uh, Credible carrying the ball up the court, passing to the wing. That was supposed to be Jordan White that I was intended for. It gets tipped, and it looks like this Gardner-Webb defense is just intense right now. We need to call a timeout, settle our nerves. We get Antonio Johnson in the game. This is a corner three, and it's knocked down. Two-point game here with about a minute 20 to go. Now we need to play some good defense, but there is a block. Another shot. It's off. So we get the stop we need. And now we just need a good shot here. Antonio Johnson, he steps back for the three. It's blocked by Kennard. It's saved, thrown up court. Here is Wilkins for the fast break, and he chooses not to take the layup. It's stolen away by Jordan White. Here's a pass to, once again to Johnson. It's saved again by Kennard. How about this sequence? Johnson takes it back out. 17 seconds and counting. We get it to 13, 12. And we call the timeout. Our nerves just need to settle down a little bit. We're moving a little too fast. And now down by two, we inbound it. Here's Mwangi. He gets into the lane. And instead of going to the basket, trying to get a layup and drawing the foul, he stops and takes a jump shot. And that will put Milo Bridges on the line. He's shooting under 50% on the season. And he knocks down the first, the second one will also be good. Four point lead, six seconds. We just decide to inbound it. Here is Johnson in the corner and he has two hands in his face. That one will be off. Gardner Webb pulls off the upset. 
Wow, that last sequence with about a minute to go. We were looking for a good shot. We could not get it. And instead, Gardner Webb will give us our first conference loss on the season. We are 8 and 1 in conference play after that one. It was just one of those weird games. We just played some sloppy basketball, turned the ball over way too much. We were trying to force too much. We didn't even take a lot of threes. I just think that, you know, when we had shot opportunities, we just did not get it to go. We are working it inside also. Johnson did take three of or take 11 threes and only hit three of them. But to me, they were all like decent shots. They weren't bad or anything. There were a couple that we chucked up, but I mean, that's going to happen every single game. And then for them, Larry O'Neal had nine points. That was a team high for him, tied with a team high with uh, Keith Wilkins as well, their leading scorer. But we end up actually bouncing back from that loss pretty well. Going on to actually beat Gardner-Webb in our second matchup, this one was at home. We beat them 89-64, to so this one was a blowout by 25 points. And we ended up having a big game from Bangani Mwangi, who had 36 points. 13 of 19 from the field that game as well. Then we went on to beat VMI 143, Radford by 15, and then our closest game down the stretch was versus Coastal Carolina, where Bungani Mwangi actually went for 14 points, and he had to come out of this game because he ended up breaking his finger on this game. Now, I think that this is an injury that he can play through, but I do want him to recover from this because his attributes are obviously affected. I, I'm not really, I'm not exactly sure if he is eligible to play right now. I don't know if he can play through it, but right now we are going to sit him out for the conference tournament. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, simulate it like it's real life. You wouldn't be able to play with a broken finger if it's not properly healed. So we will give it two weeks to heal hopefully before the NCAA tournament. We are 26 and four, so we will likely have to win our conference tournament, but we could be on the bubble here at 26 and four as well. But we are the number one seed this year now going into the Big South tournament. Winthrop is the number two seed. They're on the other side of the bracket. And then Gardner Webb is the number six seed. So we will have Liberty first, and then we will possibly play Charleston Southern or Radford in the semis. And then we, we might face Winthrop again or Gardner Webb in the championship. So we are the number one seed this year. We want to keep winning, though. So we want to get that automatic bid. We do not want to be in the play in game this year. We want an actual decent seed. But I'm proud of these boys in the regular season. We played hard, played well. Bangani Mwangi will be out for the conference tournament to let that finger heal. So we'll see what happens with that injury as well. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. It's too easy. I've been there, done it, seen it. Boy, all that like Kenny. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tina. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going on.